been about a week since we've done an update and just wanted to catch another video of the geothermal aquaponic greenhouse. The lettuce is uh, going crazy. Um, tomatoes are all doing well. Um, they're all blooming as well as they have the sets on that are ripening and uh, a lot of leaf deformity has straightened out. Um, a lot more normal looking now. Um, and I'm getting uh, just a lot of tomatoes everywhere. Uh, just still just giving them a shake for pollination. And uh, you can see I've got tomatoes over there. I've kind of followed the method where you cut all the leaves off the tomatoes below any fruit. Uh, so wherever tomatoes are setting, everything below that, you cut the leaves off. Um, I've cut a five gallon bucket or two of leaves off of tomatoes. Um, you can see the strawberries up there are doing their thing. They kind of slowed down a little and uh, they're setting they're setting again. Uh, we've got blooms and, and berries everywhere. So anyway, they're doing well. Uh, I've got lots of tomatoes in here. On um, This is the bed number three. And they're just going to be really good sized tomatoes setting on. And just look at the blooms. And I'm just giving them all a shake and a lot of these blooms are, are setting now. So um, I'm even getting some squash now without squash bugs in Northwest Oklahoma, believe it or not. And some peppers are setting on. Need to work on pollinating those a little bit. I read an article where all pepper plants make a Y. They have a stem that comes up and then it Ys. And uh, they said if you cut it off below the Y, which is what I've done here, they will bush out and get taller and make more peppers. So I tried it on this one and sure enough, look at all those little leaves coming. Uh, there were only three leaves left on the plant, four leaves, sorry, left on the plant. And now look at all those. And all those will become branches and those branches will have blooms. So uh, the peas are growing up the, the, um, twine that I've set for them. The cucumbers are setting on and there's actually cucumbers back there. And I've kind of put a screen back here. They can start climbing up. I've been kind of helping them do that. Let's well, see, I need to move them again. Um, again though, blooms and tomatoes everywhere. Um, here's the, uh, this plant is crazy. Um, I'm six and a half foot tall. That plant's probably 10 feet in the air. And it's very strange. It has set on some fruit. Um, but look at these tomatoes. Too close there, I guess. They're very odd shaped in size. I can't remember what this plant is. I can't, I think the tag is here for it. Oh yeah, it is. They're yellow pear tomatoes. Well, that would be why they look the way they look. Like pears. Parsley's doing well. Parsley. The mint. The mint might have been a mistake. I'm going to have to get rid of it, I think. Or pair it just way back every day. Um, I've tried some experiments. I don't know that they're working where you take some of your cuttings off tomatoes and just put them right into the hydroponic solution. Same with those peppers. Um, I'm going to wait it out. They say they'll droop clear down, look like they're dead. Then they'll come back to life and start leafing out. So I'm going to wait it out and see, but I would call that a failure at this point. Um, but they say that's super easy to clone tomatoes um, in these beds. I think this one may actually still be alive. So I don't know. 
be interesting to see but uh, there's the tomatoes back there I've got tomatoes down in there lots of tomatoes coming on these of course these are all climbing and tall as well and I've got a tomato there that's just almost ready to pick so what are we May 10th and probably tomorrow I'll be picking that tomato so um, things are going well fish are doing well water the tests are good strawberries are happy uh, that's where we're at thanks